how is the ICF and how are some of the partners that the ICF has assembled together to think about this topic? How are you guys looking at AI in coaching? There's a couple of important lenses to add into the AI conversation. Um, first of all, we have to separate AI tools that are designed to be completely self-contained mm -hmm. compared to AI tools that are designed to be enhancements to a human coaching engagement. Mm -hmm. Two different schools of thought. And it, it's, it's really fascinating to look around the coaching world and realize that there are you know, large-scale coaching companies using AI to automate some of the functions that human coaches used to be brought in to do in coaching situations. Mm -hmm. And those AI tools are getting better and better and better and better almost daily. I, 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 I could, I don't know if you want me to name names of particular products, but there are a couple that I'm aware of that are standalone coaching simulations no coaching replacements that really do help individuals we can do that but before i want to set the frame from from my perspective running a tech company in the coaching yeah. space what's most in interesting to me with the ai is how ai is going to help coaches be better human coaches right yes how, what yeah. technologies are available to make coaches more effective more impactful um, because longer term, obviously, AI is going to disrupt so many industries. But let's focus on how AI can help coaches in the next five years to be better coaches. Okay, there, 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 there's a suite of tools that are designed to enhance your coaching engagement. And they, they, they fall into two or maybe three categories. And what, what the ICF AI Standards Work Group is doing, that's the thing that I'm a part of with a, with a handful of people around the world, what the AI standards AI work group, standards work group mm -hmm. is doing is exploring how to hold those same those tools to the same ethical and performance standards that human coaches are being held to. So I, th there's there's an entire exploration of how do the ICF core competencies come to life in these tools. There's mm -hmm. a whole exploration of what are the ethical implications. Of these uh, of these tools, there's a whole section of the work that the standards work group has been doing, that's about how is the technology vetted and how is the data handled in the course of that conversation. So I, I I would I would use that all as introduction to say I think there's three specific ways that AI data is being used to make coaches more effective. Number one, some tools are designed as a support for coaching in between sessions. Mm -hmm. And what the AI does is it transforms that support from text-based emails into an interaction with a personality, with, with, with something that appears, with a persona, let's say it that way, not a personality, with a persona. Because it, you're able to bring it to life. It may have a, it may have a voice, it may have uh, the ability to send you customized text text messages or some of those kinds of situations. So so those in-between session augmentations, I think are very helpful. Second area is there are measurement tools being developed that use AI as another stream of data. And some of that is sentiment analysis or some of the very specific technological uh, evaluations that are used to either confirm or refute the, or sometimes define, I guess in, in some cases even define, mm -hmm. this is an outcome that we're seeing from this coaching engagement and all of our available data streams, interpersonal, stakeholder evaluation, objective assessment measure, AI input, all of them are pointing toward this being the solution. So there's a whole suite of evaluation and measurement tools that are available there. And then finally, the, the last one is, I do think AI, the combination of AI and virtual reality is beginning coaching simulations where coaches can sharpen their skills in very much accelerated timetables. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, those are the three areas that we have really paid attention to in the AI standards work group. And there are, my goodness, Alex, there are, there are dozens of examples in all three of those areas. And there's only going to be more mo moving forward because mm -hmm. there's so the, the technology is improving and developing so quickly. Thank you.